Good evening, and welcome. This is... Good evening. This is the Jim... And David... Beer, Beer Review. It's late, people. It's very late. It's, it's late. It's and we are wondering, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm up to, like, 252. Ooh. <laughs> Oofa. Oh, that'd be me. You'll be hearing a beeping in the background. That's beep, beep. us having a midnight Peacher. snack. But we're having a, 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 a late night beer review. And that's why we're talking quietly, because we don't want to wake up the no. neighbors. Or the, the, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Dave, what beer are we reviewing this time? Terrapin Beer Terrapin. Company, Athens, Georgia. I have to look that up. Georgia. This one's called Liquid Bliss. It is um, Terrapin. I've never heard that chocolate before. peanut butter porter. Chocolate peanut butter porter. Chocolate peanut butter porter. I never, never, I never thought I would say that say out that loud. Say that three times fast. I know. I just say it at all. It's like okay, chocolate porter. Peanut okay. butter. Chocolate beer. peanut butter porter. What's this? The Reese's peanut butter cups Terrapin. of beer. I have no idea. Ooh. It says it's a malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. Okay. Is there any other kind of flavors? Um, Brewed and bottled by Terrapin Beer Company, Athens, Georgia. Yeah, I got that. Well, it says here on the label, yeah. unlock your inner zen and delve into the yin and yang of two decadent flavors. Focus on the harmonic togetherness of chocolate and peanut butter as it takes you to a place that you never thought possible. Peanut a, butter. A... Liquid Bliss. I'm going to put a peanut butter in my beer. Called Brewed with Peace of Mind. Peace of Government is. warning. Reese's According pieces. to the Surgeon General. Yada, yada, yada. Alcohol Reese's volume pieces. is 6.1. Ooh. I am 21. 12 fluid ounces. A they have a best ago. of serve by. And guess what it says? Oh, it's late. It says best if enjoyed by. December. First week of 2014. Well, we're good. Well, God bless them. That is the most comprehensive. They, they had it down to the week. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, in the week, yeah, month. And week. label, there's a little First ring, week yin of yang. December in 2014. That's yeah, pretty good. What's that? Is that supposed to be a turtle? Our beers. That is a hop. A hop turtle. A hop turtle. A hop turtle. Turtles are not known for hopping. But it's a hop turtle. Okay, well, I'll go with that. Hop executioner, what is this? Pretty, is this uh, the, what is this? Oh, here's a hop turtle on the, um, It's a liquid cap. bliss, right? Liquid bliss, here we go. Liquid bliss. Here we go. Let's, let's click on that. Hold that tight. I got it. That's what Actually, she said. That's not too tight. Okay, well, it's got, a, ooh, ABVs are 6.0. Wow, look at that. That's I a see porter. peanut butter coming out. It has it's a, been a porter kind of night tonight. It has been. Look at that. Even the uh, head on it has a sort of uh, chocolatey color to it. Yes, I don't see no peanut butter. Well, reminds me of the old Reese's peanut butter commercial. You Ooh. got peanut butter in my chocolate. You got chocolate There's in my peanut, peanut butter. butter in that smell. Oh, uh, you want to give a scent already? I already okay. did. There's peanut butter. In oh, that. yeah. How about that? There's peanut butter. I find myself oddly intrigued. I have a little bit of uh, the savour, the savour, the drool glands are gone. <laughs> Sorry, it's late. My the brain drool, is working the functioning. The drool glands are gone. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> I'd use her 30. That's not bad. I'd use her 30. Yeah, pretty good. For it's a porter, got, that's actually kind of high. pale wheat crystal, crystal chocolate, chocolate wheat. Two row chocolate wheat plaque. Mm -hmm. It says it says here malt two row. Okay. Wheat crystal, eighty six. That's a good smell. I want to smell crystal like one twenty chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate wheat, black. You know, if you had said to me something about the peanut butter chocolate in beer, I would have been all like throwing up. But I gotta say, as I smell this, I am anticipating. <sighs> that is a good smell. That's different. We never had peanut butter in a beer. Well, we never had fruit until we started having fruit beers, and we never had um, other weird stuff going on. So yeah, but usually I just like peanut, peanut, 
peanuts. That's got to be artificial. Work. I can't believe they'd be able to. Sure, you pick that kind of spray, you spray or it Or something. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. But uh, it's intriguing. You should have this at 44 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, yes. Uh, that was something else I wanted to bring up. I saw, um, I've been trying to get part of the bigger YouTube beer review community. Yes. Now, what does that mean? Well, actually, I don't yeah, know. Doing your homework. Yeah. And basically, I thought to myself, okay, well, you know, let's uh, look at other people's videos, and if we like them, we will retweet them or repost them or share them yeah, uh, yes, on the various uh, social media platforms. Because, you know, hey, you know, we're all drinking beer together after a fashion. And one of the things uh, that one group of guys brought up, and excuse me, I don't remember the name right off the bat, was they said certain kind of beers should be served at a certain temperature. Yeah. And one of the examples they brought up, it's just like, hey, the best way to bring drink Bud is as cold as possible because it tastes horrible no. and the coldness hides the flavor. I said, that makes sense because I don't want to drink Bud anyway, no. but if you had to, if it was ice cold and you couldn't taste it, it would probably be the best way. No. And then they were saying something about certain things should be done a little warmer, like 42 degrees. Like, like usually, like, like I'm sorry for interrupting, no. like chocolate, like, like dark beers are usually best drank warm. Warmer, at least. Yes, warmer. And so uh, these are not super cold. Uh, they were in the fridge, but they've, they've been sitting out for a little bit. So these are a little bit warmer. What was the temperature they said they should be? 44 to 50 degrees. Well, these are not freezing cold. I think we might be in that range, so we could be lucky. Okay. We'll hold off on that a second. Let's, uh, we did the sniff, and the color is very opaque. Very dark. There you go. Give a little drink. There you go. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. I, I distinctly taste peanut butter. This is like drinking a beer that is a Reese's peanut butter cup, yes. but less sweet. The aftertaste is peanut butter. It's peanut butter. That's, that's that weird. That is uh, the weirdest thing I've ever had. I, 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 I never had My mind is blown. It's just like my brain is blown. Yes, <sighs> we went over here. And it's then, just like, hey, porter, beer, yay, peanut butter. It's Ooh. usually like what? an aftertaste, but... Peanut butter aftertaste. Hey, peanut butter aftertaste. Well, give them points for uniqueness. I've never heard of such a thing until now. That is something. That is something. I, I kind of like it. This is. Well, how do you fit this into our usual categories? This is a standalone. This one on its own. This is its own category. So we'll just rate it on how we like it. I guess. I like it. I give it. I give it an eight point five. If you like peanut butter, that's all. Yeah. I, I give it an like 8. peanut butter. Yeah. Wow. 8.5 maybe. Yeah. I mean, if, if I it's... I like that it doesn't have a, an, an aftertaste of like, ugh. I mean, there's been ale categories. Yeah. There has been fruit categories. Uh, there has been, you know, lager and uh, other things. This is a category into it. This is, a, is this a candy beer? I mean, I... Or candy peanut beer. Or like peanut. You have candy cigarettes. This is a candy is, beer. Is there a peanut butter? Uh, mm, we had to make this the only on. one. So the peanut butter category, this is probably a 10. But you know. I have to look it up online to see if there's any other kind of beers that have peanut butter aftertaste. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Um, a very unique beer. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to give it an 8.5 too. Me and Dave are in agreement. And uh, there you have it. Excuse the beeping in the background, everybody. That's this is Jim and Dave Beer Review. Please. Drink like our channel, yes. and if you would be so kind, leave a comment. Thumbs We'd up, love to hear from you. Down, subscribe. It's the only way we'll learn. And if you're pregnant, yes. please don't drink. No. Don't drink and drive. No. Drink responsibly. Do not yes. drink if you're under 21. No. Don't be even be watching this if you're under 21. Mm, yes. The Surgeon General has determined that this is probably the worst YouTube channel ever. <laughs> So what are you gonna do? We try. Yeah, it's because we've had 150 review uh, the beer things out there. No one says anything. Yeah, well, it's okay. People who will uh, shout o over a din will strain to hear a whisper. Wow, he used some kind of like Zen stuff on. This. Yeah, that's all uh, like deep and shiite. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. Stuff. <laughs> deep and stuff. Is that like HR puffin stuff? All right. Say goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, Dave.